In the late 1930s, a bus driver was bringing home a load of kids from a field trip. It was late at night and all the children were sleeping. As he was attempting to cross the railroad tracks, the bus stalled out. As luck would have it, a train was barreling down the tracks at high speed. The bus driver had no chance to rouse the kids and the bus wouldn't start or move. Then there was a horrific crash. The bus was literally torn in two. The bus driver was thrown from the wreckage and miraculously survived. But to everyone's dismay, all of the children were killed instantly. No one really blamed the bus driver for this terrible accident. It wasn't his fault. But he was racked by so much guilt that he felt like he couldn't go on living. Shortly thereafter, he returned to the intersection in his own private vehicle and parked it on the tracks, waiting for the next train to come and end his life. As he sat there, he began to hear giggling and laughter, strangely familiar to his ears. The next thing he knew, his car was being moved uphill and across the tracks to safety. When he got out of his car to investigate, he noticed small handprints and fingerprints on the back of his vehicle. In his mind, it was the ghosts or the spirits of those children moving him to safety. It was their way of telling him that they did not blame him for what happened. He then went on to lead a very productive life, guilt-free. It is said that if you go to those tracks to this day and put your car in neutral, your car will be pushed up and over the tracks to safety by the ghosts of the children. And if you put baby powder on the back of your car, you will see handprints and fingerprints from the children.